I'm currently on private property next to that creek over there and I'm about to go trout fishing. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now before I go trout fishing, I've got to decide what I'm going to go trout fishing with. Do I want to go a plastic or do I want to go a minnow? I'm thinking I might go a spinner. What's that one? Number one Super Vibrax. Might be a little bit... Well, I'll try that and see how it goes. Number one Super Vibrax. Let's go spinning for trout. Right, everything's back in my bag. Let's go fishing. Let's go spinning for trout. There's the house right there that kindly gave me permission to, uh, to cross their paddock and get in here, so huge thank you to them. A lot of water coming down this little creek. Oh, that water's cold in my boots. Refreshing. I'll call it refreshing rather than cold. Tell you what, it would be refreshing to see a fish follow my lure. There's got to be a trout sitting under there, surely. Well, folks, I wasn't feeling it with that spinner, so I took it off and I've gone to Old Faithful Strike Tiger Nymph in black and gold colour, but I've gone quite a heavy jig head just because the creek's flowing so, so fast and some of these holes are quite deep. I want the jig head to get down. Oh, there's not a trout in there, then there's something horribly wrong. Just it got him. Oh, that was definitely a touch. I was just about to say, I keep expecting my lure to uh, to stop. I'm going to fish to be on the other end. Got him. Like that. Oh, done him. That was a lovely fish. That was a really nice brown. I think I might have had him on for too long, so I doubt that he'll come back. But what a refreshing sight after... After fishing, I fished probably four or five really nice pools with a spinner. Never even saw a fish. I fished a nice pool to stay on the bend with the soft plastic, nothing. I finally seen a fish. That's given me hope. Another nice looking pool. The creek's looking fantastic at the moment. There's my follow on that, I can see him. Well, they're a bit flighty. That's the second fish I've seen. I'm seeing a couple, that's good. But I've changed again to something that uh, has done really well for me already this season. That's the Strike Tiger Minnow in copper berry colour with a tiny little 132 of an ounce jig head. There's a big Murray crayfish down there. I don't know whether I'll be able to pick him up and show you on one. Yeah, <laughs> he gone. riding his engine brakes. And I've changed again. <laughs> this time I've stuck with a really small jig head but I've gone back to the black and gold nymph. The only uh, lure that's actually had a strike today. Oh! My nymph hit the water and then a, a, quite a large brown trout rose right next to where it hit, right there. He's going to come out after. Oh, oh, big, big, big. Take it, take it. Oh, he's a good fish. That's a good fish. It's also a cunning fish. So I'm suspecting that maybe somebody got him. Yes. I was just about to say, I'm suspecting that maybe somebody has been through here fishing. He jumped up on the bank. Look at that. He landed himself. Oh, gee, that's deeper than I thought. Thanks for doing that, mate. That's done me a, uh, you've done me a favour. Quick, come back here. I want to get a real quick photo so I can get you back in the drink. Because you are just such a lovely fish. Right. Wet my hand. Give the fish a wash. Get the mud off you, mate. Make it look nice for the photo. Don't want ugly fish in the photos. That's a lot. Oh, gone. <laughs> I might lose him now. It's okay. Come on, mate. That is a ripper. Where's my camera? Mate, you're a beauty. See you later. Gone. Awesome. 
the black and gold black and gold strike tiger nymph claws removed 132 ounce size 8 I think it is or size 6 one of the smallest ones anyway let's just say tiny jig head after about five lure changes I finally caught a fish that was awesome he very first cast he came out in rows right beside the lure when it landed he was he got to the surface absolutely straight away It's a bigger one, bigger one, an even bigger one just floated out. I'm not joking. Oh, that was a touch. The fish hit that then. If I'm going to catch another trout in this creek, I'm going to want to do it soon because I'm almost out of water. This isn't a big stretch of creek for me to fish. I've got private property access here, but not past the bridge that's coming up. So I can only sort of get in the house and walk up to the bridge. Gee, that's a nice looking spot for a trout. God, I had a touch. Is he still following it? No, I didn't see the fish. This one, oh, a little one hit it. Oh, this big one following it, take it. I paused it. He's on it again. Look at him. A lovely fish, it's high thirties, low forties. Oh, that was a strike, it was a swipe. A trout just swiped beside my lure then. Right, I've just made a bit of a change, or a large change. I've put on a minnow, this is the Damiki Era 55. Sort of hoping that maybe a big minnow might incite a strike. There he is. He did follow it and he grabbed it. It worked. It worked. He didn't even grab it. I fair looked him. Gotta loosen me drag here. Come down here under the shallows, mate. What a fight. He got off. It got off. It wasn't even hooked in the mouth, it was hooked in the back. Almost caught my second fish. And what a lovely fish it was. I'm standing on a tree here at the top end of a log jam. Right over there in that corner. Got him! Oh, that was a nice strike. That was a heavy whack. That was a really hard hit. Come back. I doubt it. He would have felt a fair bit of weight, I think, that fish. He was on it. He did come back. And he was a good fish. I'm going to twitch it a bit. Got him! Look at the size of him. That is a proper trout. Wow. This was always going to be one of those cross that bridge when I get to it moments. He's gone under all that crap. No, he's back out. Have a look at the size of this fish. That is a proper trout. Sort of trying to keep it away from all those logs. That is a ripper of a fish. A little Damiki minnow worked. That has got to be 40 to 45 centimetres at least, I reckon. What a ripper of a trout. Awesome. I think I might have stuffed up the release footage because I had the camera angled down a bit low, but that's the least of my concerns at the moment. I'm just so happy to have caught that beautiful big brown trout. What an absolutely beautiful fish. 
Well, that's it for this trip. I ran out of water. This is only a short stretch of water that I've got permission to fish on. And I've had an absolute great time. Today was all about quality over quantity. I didn't get many, but I got some really nice fish. And it was also about cracking the code and trying to work out exactly what lure they wanted. Folks, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.